Hey guys, Joseph here. Just want to show you um, something that may help you in the field. Just a quick way to check the brake free play. Um, you can make something that I'm about to show you for all of your team members. So they have it, stick it in your pocket, keep it on you, keep it close by, and just use it every time you're checking your brakes uh, for the free play adjustment so that those, are, those dimensions are correct. Um, you know as well as I do that, just real quick, that you can... I'm, first of all, let me tell you this. I'm, only, I'm, I'm looking kind of across this golf cart so the best view I have for you guys is the actual accelerator pedal I'm gonna treat this like the brake just just pretend this is the brake so what we know is that brake free play for the Yamaha golf cart needs to be between one and two inches they actually the dimensions they really give us are in millimeters but it, it boils down to being between one and two inches meaning I should feel tension in those cables when I press this brake I should start feeling tension in those cables between one inch of travel and two inches of travel in between one and two if I if I start feeling tension immediately before before I even get to one inch it's too it's too much tension and it you know it'll cause a lot of uh, overreacting in the brakes if I go further than two inches and, and get on down here further before I feel tension they'll start getting complaints um, from their players that there's not enough brake. That sweet spot that they've come to find out is between one and two inches. If you had a tape measure, you know, if, if you had a tape measure for everybody, um, you can do it that way. You could go in and literally go to the floorboard at the relaxed state, and you can see that I'm at seven inches here, roughly. That means I need to feel tension. I'm gonna do it with this hand. That means I need to take two fingers. I'm not trying to shove this brake down. I'm just trying to push it a little bit. But when I put this here, I should start feeling tension on my brakes at between six and five. I should feel all my tension right in there. If I can get way on down here, I've got not enough tension. If I start feeling tension immediately, I got, I'm too tight. That sweet spot is one to two inches right in there. Well, if you don't have a tape measure um, or, or don't have time to go out and buy all of that, you can do you can make a mark on a stick. Uh, your I actually I've I've got my hammer right here. Um, one of the hammers that you guys may have. You can use a screwdriver. You can use a stick, literally a stick off a tree. You can get anything you want that will allow you to um, when you're getting ready to adjust your when you get finished doing your adjustments, just take it, go to the floorboard. Um, of course you measure that you, you, you got to have something to measure it out so that you know that on you just go to any golf cart push it to the floorboard in the brakes relaxed state measure about two inches off of there and now you got a mark right here and you can also measure one inch off and put another piece of tape I don't have that here but that way when you throw this up there real quick all you got to do is make sure your pedal is tightening up in between that area right there and you're good if you get on down here too much and you know what that means that means that if you've if you've uh, adjusted your nuts on the equalizer bar to the correct location which should be no more than about an inch and a half of threads left if you've adjusted it to that level and that's good and you still are getting way down here then that means all the adjustments need to be made uh, on the auto adjusters in the back and the field service technician would need to do that if you adjust your if you have your equalizer bar nuts set in the right location you know one one and a half inches no more than one and a half inches off the end and you're then you're feeling too tight like man you're getting tension already before you even start then obviously you can go down and, and back off back your nuts off until you can get in that sweet spot so two things real quick just a summary is uh, well you definitely want your equalizer bar nuts to be in the right spot at about one and a half no more than one and a half inches onto the bolt with basically one and a half inches of thread sticking out that's kind of where they need to be that's the max they need to be screwed on once they're screwed on at that location then you should be in the sweet spot if you're not all the adjustment needs to be made in the in the rear on the on the rear brake adjusters by the field service technician unless you're unless of course you're still real tight and you can loosen them up you just don't want to screw your uh, 
equalizer bar nuts on way on up there to try to make it fall within that spot anyway I hope that makes sense use a hammer screwdriver um, if you got a tape measure you can use that every time I just find it easier to have something rigid to just stick up there and go thank you guys